Well, hello and welcome back. And we are back down here at Ridley Cycles in Kensington of Calgary, Alberta. And I just wanna take a moment right now to shout out something, which is this bike right here, the Transition Spire. Ridley's has this bike regular $52.99 on for $46.95. And honestly, I cannot think of more bike for the money. This is such good value. So if you are in the market for a double XL Transition Spire, come check Ridley's out because I think this is a smoking deal. However, the point of this video today is to talk about Crank Brothers. And Crank Brothers pedals, in my opinion, are the absolute best pedals on the market. They've been around for decades and there's a reason for that. Recently, Crank Brothers came out with their line of shoes and I picked up and have rode all of 2022 season on the Mallet E or the Mallet Enduro shoe. However, one thing I should say issue I experienced was clipping in and out, more specifically clipping out. And toward the end of the season, I made probably one of the best upgrades that I could have made. And that is what this video is gonna be all about. So stick with me. So all Crank Brothers shoes come from the factory with the gold colored cleat. And what's neat is that Crank Brothers actually offers four different cleat colors, which offer four different cleat performances. So what are we talking about? Well, let's set this down for a second and grab a shoe. So this is the Crank Brothers Mallet E shoe, which you can get here at Ridley Cycles. And the cleats is the actual piece on the bottom of the shoe that engages with the pedal itself. Now, there are two factors to consider here with the Crank Brothers shoes and more specifically with their cleats. One is float. Float is how much your foot is able to move laterally or side to side in a rotation movement before it starts to disengage. The second is that disengage or that release. So that is how many degrees that it takes for you to actually release your shoe or your foot from the actual pedal. And as mentioned, Crank Brothers has four different varieties of this. They categorize it in two specific categories, the easy release and the standard release. On the bottom of all Crank Brothers shoes are come factory with the gold cleat. As you can see, I have switched to the rose. The gold cleat falls in the standard release category, but I'm gonna walk it through one by one here. So starting from the easiest, we have the rose. And if you think about it, it goes rose, bronze, silver, gold, just kind of like a podium. The rose falls under the easy release category. It offers zero degrees of float, that is zero degrees of movement, and 10 degrees of release angle. And that's 10 degrees is what's classifying it as an easy release. In my opinion, this is the best cleat for beginners because it's gonna give you a nice secure feeling when you're engaged with the pedal and it's gonna provide the absolute minimum amount of release angle for you to disengage from that bike. So if there's a panic mo mo moment, then um, there's no float, it immediately starts releasing. Up from the rose is bronze. So that's gonna provide six degrees of actual float and then it requires an additional 10 degrees to release. So this one is actually, in my personal opinion, kind of the most difficult to understand who this clientele is. And uh, that'll hopefully become a little bit clear later on. But again, the bronze is six float, 10 release. Then we get into the actual standard release. Now we're at the silver. Silver provides zero degrees of float. So once you start rotating, it'll start releasing, but it takes 15 degrees to actually release. Now, I consider this a pro cleat in the sense that it's gonna provide a nice, tight, secure feeling on the pedal, but it's gonna take 15 degrees of float. So if you're in a racing situation and you get bumped, um, you know, uh, or, or your position on the bike changes, then it may not fully release, uh, which is probably what you're gonna want in a race environment. From there, we go to the gold cleat, and the gold has six degrees of float and an additional 15 degrees of release angle. And that's what I consider the pro cleat because you can change your body position through the actual cleat itself, but then it also requires that additional 15 degrees of release angle. And so I think that's best for a high performance racing situation. 
So returning back to the bronze cleat, that's the one that has six degrees of float and 10 degrees of release angle. And it's difficult for me to imagine the person who wants a loose feeling um, foot and wants an easy release. But if that's you, then kudos to you. However, um, I think what should be coming on the stock shoes is the rose. That's the zero degree and the 10 degree. And that's what I've put on my shoes. Now, I know I described it as a beginner cleat, but quite frankly, I think it provides a nice quick contact and a quick release because, and I have no shame in admitting this, there were a couple of situations where I was trying to get out with that pro degree cleat that had, uh, or uh, that with that gold cleat that had that six degrees of float and the additional 15 degrees of angle. And by then I'd actually already tipped over. Uh, and that did happen maybe two or three times last year. I found it very annoying, um, especially if you're trying to go up like a technical climb and you need to quickly put your foot down. Having that uh, 21 degrees of full release angle as opposed to 10 made um, a huge difference in being able to actually disengage. So this with the zero and 10, this is the easiest way to get actually on and off these pedals. So if you have Crank Brothers shoes and or Crank Brothers pedals, the best investment I can suggest you making is going with the easy release cleat, specifically in the rose color. I think this is gonna be game changing as it has been for me in your ability to disengage from the actual pedal when you're trying to go up technical climbs or when you're stopping at the top of a run. I found this to be the absolute most comfortable for a lot of reasons. In fact, I would even go so far as to recommend that Crank Brothers rebrand their gold cleats so in calling it a pro cleat instead of a standard release because I think it gives the wrong impression. So if you have any questions whatsoever, you're looking at picking up either the Crank Brothers Easy Release Cleats, the Mallet E shoes, or some Mallet E or other Crank Brothers pedals, be sure to check out Ridley Cycles here in Kensington. They've got a full variety of everything in stock and we'd be happy to order in anything specifically that you need. So thank you very much. I appreciate you all, especially those who are subscribing, liking the videos if you found this helpful and uh, be sure to stick around because we've got plenty more good videos like this coming up. So thank you very much, you take care, and bye for now.